Hello everyone, this is Lorena, and I'm back with another Duel Links video. I am back. Let's continue with the interactions. I'm starting with Yuga. R6, are you okay? Hey, you have a cool machine! I think R6 is a little tired today, because he suddenly decided to take a nap right here. Oh yeah? What... what are you doing? I think I found the problem. The swing gear has gotten a little loose. Really? Let me fix it for you. Just tightening this bolt... And done. Vroom vroom! Thanks. You really know your machines. I'm 32 and I don't. My name's Asana. I don't know how I can repay you. I do have an idea. If it's cool with you, can R6 take me out for a spin? That's not really for me to decide. What do you say, R6? Vroom! Okay, hop on board. Alright! That pedal under your foot is the gas, so just press it really lightly. You're really getting the hang of it. Have you driven one of these before? No, it's my first time, but I hope it's not my last. <laughs> R6 never lets just anyone drive him, so he must really like you. Ah, oh, thanks, buddy. Oh, I forgot to mention my name's Yuga Odo. The Yugo... No! No, that is... The Yuga Odo who created Rush Duels? Yes, that Yuga Odo. As opposed to any other ones. The one and the same, Asana. Do you want to duel? I'll take a rain check. It's not something I'm going to say. So, she's not refusing, but... Let's duel, Yuka. Yeah! Okay. It's my turn. I draw! Then it's my turn. I draw! Then it's my turn again. I draw! Asana's just looking at this and she's like, What the hell? <laughs> this looks so sad. The sun sets on another tough day of training for the president of Loot Club when... He spots a worthy opponent! And challenges her to a duel! I challenge you to a duel. No. What? Me? Who else is there? Um, lots. But my instincts are telling me that you're the one worth dueling. Well, I'm pretty confident in my dueling abilities. After all, I'm the president of Gohan Number no. 6 Elementary's Heavy Calibre Duel Club. I'm the president of my club, too. I knew I sent something special about you. Yeah, something special. Yeah, sure. If I'm going to duel, I can't afford to lose. For the glory of the Heavy Calibre style. Heavy Calibre style? The Heavy Calibre style has been passed down through generations in my family. By combining the might of heavy machinery with our elite intellect, we form an unbeatable cavalry. With our diggers and excavators and wrecking balls and bulldozers, oh, and steamrollers and dump trucks and drillers and fork and forklifts and oh, stop! I get it, bro. But there are so many more machines I could name. Come on, please! 
Please don't. But I can. How about we just duel? Very well, rev up your engines. I don't want to rev up my engine. I don't want to. Konami being like, okay, then you can skip. No, I'll do it anyway. <laughs> oh, God. Hmm. I can tell by your posture that you are a leader of some sort. Yeah, she is a leader of some sort. Can you say the same about you? I'm not that special. Disagree! I disagree. Although I am the president of Gohan Number no. 6, Elementary's Heavy Cavalry Club. Though I am the president of Gohan Number no. 6, Elementary's Heavy Cavalry Duel Club. That is a mouthful for some reason, and I don't know if anyone else agrees, because I'm weird. Then you and I are much alike. Then you and I are much alike. We're both presidents who value the traditional ways. I don't think we're that similar. What? President is just a title. It doesn't mean anything. Oh, damn! You win! Huh? I wish I was as humble and modest as you. That is what I strive to be. I've been hanging out with Yuga and Luke for so long that I'm sure they've corrupted me. And Rain and Rhino aren't here to correct me when I steer from the proper path. Oh wait, please don't do this to me again. I've forgotten who I'm supposed to- No! I've forgotten who I'm supposed to be. Uh... I feel that in the near future we will be battling and working together. Wait, what? Hold on a second, that's not what I've pronounced. But why do I feel this way? Do I have psychic powers? Since when do I have powers of premonition? Um... Uh, can we just duel? <laughs> oh, damn. Hmm... <laughs> Do I watch the concert, or do I watch Chef Detective? Hmm. Um, hello? Shh, please don't talk to me. I have an important decision to make. Don't you want to watch Detective... Don't you want to watch Chef Detective Culinary Crimes? Culinary Crimes! I want to watch the rock concert. But Princess G is a special guest, and she's gonna rock out on a tuna! Uh... Which would you rather see? Huh? Me? Yeah, the rock, co the rock concert or the sushi crime show? Uh, neither. Uh-huh, then what do you want to watch instead? There's a six-hour documentary on bulldozers that... A six-hour documentary? Anything but that. What? But the six-hour documentary, I swear, it's so exciting. Why don't you want to watch it? Come on! What? How dare you insult construction equipment? You'll pay for those words. You're one to talk? Everyone loves concerts. Everyone loves Princess G! Uh, concerts are noisy, number one. And number two, there's people everywhere! What if we compromise and watch a cartoon about robots? What kind of compromise is that? Shut up! Stay out of this, Kaizo! I don't listen to drones. Ah. My capability to still sound like an infant is really amazing considering my age. And probably depressing. I, I feel like I've seen you before, but where? 
Who are you? You don't seem like a student at Gohan Number Six Elementary. Because uh, I'm not. I'm one of the hexagon. Uh, scratch that. I meant. I go to Gohan Number Seven instead. The name's Mimi. What's groovy? Uh, groovy. I remember where I seen you. In my company's files. I mean, at the library. You're Asada Mutaba of Mutaba Heavy Calvary. You're Asada Mutaba of Mutaba Heavy Machinery, right? <laughs> yeah, everyone knows that. Yes, you're right. No one remembers that your family helped build Goha City. Because Goha Enterprises crushed your company. Wow, that was rude. That was rude! And when your equipment broke down, you asked Goha for replacement parts. But that was no go! And you're trying to pretend you're not an employee for... You're not very successful. You're kind of failing. How do you know that? That information isn't in any book in any library. Yeah, she screwed you over, didn't she? For real? You sure? For real? You sure? I'm sure there's a blurb about it somewhere. Well, you're right about my family history. So that's why she's trying to destroy Rush Dolls. To save her company. I know how you're feeling. I want to go back to my good old days too. When I was bustling my moves on the dance floor. No one raised the roof like me. No one. Who are you? Or should I say, what are you? A good question and no one cares. Hey there, Asana. Nice ride. Care if I take it for a spin around the block? Yes. You're not allowed. No. Vroom. R6 says he doesn't give rides. Especially to strangers. Well then. Hi, I'm Roa. Wanna be friends? Vroom. And now, now, R6, it's fine that you don't want to be friends. Uh... But you shouldn't talk about his eyebrows like that. Oh my god. <laughs> What's wrong with his eyebrows? <laughs> you and R6 both need to chill. <laughs> but I don't know if you can chill. Because your toots are already freezing cold. Don't call her out for being unable to chill. Seriously. Chilling is hard, okay, man? But my toot is pretty cold, not going to lie. Come on, if we're going to be rivals, wouldn't you rather it be a friendly one? What do you mean? You came here to battle against Yuga, right? That makes us rivals. And because I'm the one who's going to defeat Yuga, not you. Who are you? What's your name? You're such a kidder. Everyone knows who I am. I don't. Come on, Asana. You must have heard of Roa Roman, right? This is impossible. Everyone knows me. Come on, seriously. What's your name? I didn't expect you to visit me personally now. The fact that you know who I am means you're no ordinary duelist, Asana Mutaba. 
And since you know who I am, too, this conversation should be quick. Can you let Yuga Odo borrow your maximum cards? My Egdrago? I want to have a fair fight against Yuga, so he needs those. But Yuga lost his maximum cards, remember? So you want him to have my Yggdrago. You wouldn't be proposing this if you didn't have maximum cards of your own. That's right, I do. I see. I'm willing to let Yuga borrow my Yggdrago. Great. But only if he himself asks to borrow my cards. I don't do favors for people. He better come to me directly. And that shouldn't be an issue. He knows he has no chance to defeat me without maximum cards. I am curious why you would underestimate Yugo like this. What? It wouldn't surprise me if Yugo crossed a strategy that exceeds my Yggdrago. That's impossible. Not for him. He always finds his road to victory. Anyway, guys, that's going to try things up for this video. That will conclude the event. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, there's the uh, ending cutscene. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow for that. Bye.